um, Lambda Step Functions demo, like something that we created here to show how Step Functions works with serverless framework. <clears throat> so the thing that we implemented here is actually is like, I'm gonna show you like a graph of it. So we have a, a file that is placed on a temporary folder and when then you call a REST API that gets this file, moves to another place like processing folder, and then we start a step function here, a state machine, in which the first step is to upload to imagine that I, I have to upload this file to a third party, but it's like it's, sometimes it's not working and so imagine imagine that is something that's not reliable. And if it doesn't work, it will retry, retry, and eventually when it, it goes right, like it manages to upload the file, then it will, it will delete the file from our processing bucket. And then, okay, because I already pushed the file to another party. If it doesn't work, then we will publish this, like if it doesn't work after retrying a bunch of times, then it will like publish to a SQS that letter because then we can treat this later on, like for days later or so, and this will be failed. Okay, so how did we do this? So we have, uh, if you want, you can go through README, then you can see how to reproduce this. But we first we created like a serverless YAML. And here we have the different functions. For example, the first function is to schedule the, the upload. And it has a role that makes it able to call to invoke the, the state machine. We have another one that is part of the step to upload to a third party and another for deletion. So everything is Lambda. And here is the definition of the step function. So we have um, the first step that's related to the Lambda itself. And it, it, it fails. We have like a catch and retry here. It will retry in four seconds. And so then you can read the documentation about this and we'll retry six times. If it doesn't work, then you, we, we will throw a error, which will invoke the dead letter. And then we will be publishing the message itself with everything on the dead letter everything from the input and the, the, the error, error that uh, happened and so. And if it works well, then the next step is to delete the S3 file. Okay, so let's try it on. Oh, here, yeah, we have the code here. It's like the code for uploading to a third party is like an emulation of errors because imagine that 30% of the times it will be a failure. So we are emulating this here but the re remaining 20% of the time, it will take too long. So uh, I wanted to, to, to time out and, and the remaining will, will go correctly. And then we will delete the file here from the source pocket. It's actually the deleting here. And here's the code for the scheduling. So it checks if the file, the source file from the request exists if it exists then it will move it to the processing folder and then it will start the execution of the state machine passing the target file the file that is meant to be processed right so yeah this is the the overall code and so let's run it so first thing is we are waiting for something that is on temp folder. So let's imagine, because this is not part of the, the, the this service, that we have like a image 16 file that is new on our temp folder, temporary folder. Maybe it was created by a signed URL or anything. Like, yeah, it's not scope of this, this demo. And then we can call here uh, our endpoint with, if we call it with, for example, with anything else that doesn't exist, yeah, fail to schedule because it doesn't exist. But if we call it with 16, okay, now it worked. File scheduled for upload successfully. Okay, what does it mean is that 
it invoked our our lambda function that moves to another directory let's see it here processing and we have 16 okay and now we have something running here see processing Im image 16 but what is happening probably is that we have some errors because remember the upload to third party fails like 50 uh, around 50 percent of the time it's failing so that's what is happening here so it's retrying and fading and you, when we can see it here if you have click it here so when it retries see task timed out in this case it was like stuck and yeah and eventually after retrying six times it published to a dead letter the dead letter is here it's another queue uh, and we can see the the messages here yeah so this is this is a message that has informations about the file that failed and so and regardless of the dead letter queue we can see here that the, the file is still on processing right okay so it didn't work we can we can retry this this task here actually we we won't be able to retry it we have to create another one with another name because it's uh, yeah new execution and it will it, it will use the same input and another name which is okay and let's let's see if it will work now because it's random so i cannot like be sure that it will work let's see oh yeah failed failed yeah it's try again uh as it it's doing this let's try to create another one so we can like this 16 let's create it with 17 okay and let's let's see if it worked no it seems it won't I, i'm not lucky because now i wanted just to show you the thing working but let's call 17 it will start another one in parallel file scheduled for upload successfully we can see now another oh it worked <laughs> yeah it was yeah so it worked processing 17 and then it deleted and we if we see here at in the buckets from processing we don't have 17 it was here but, but it was too fast and you couldn't see anymore yeah uh, and this one let, let's try again to run it let's see if it because then you can see on the bucket the uh, file 16 uh, being removed yeah if we come back to the one that succeeded the 17 we can see here on the event view we can see what what, what happened so it worked like in the first trial it was already working and then it called the lead file and that's it it was a very very happy running oh in this case it's it's retrying again yeah but that's that's the thing with the step functions it was fun to do it bye bye